Hello, Music Bear with a tutorial on, well, getting something that is good, even better. This is because of a, um, a poster on Facebook that said that um, uh, Elements was a good program, but the um, the included uh, instruments was uh, inferior. They sounded uh, very uh, meager, in his opinion. So I thought mm, uh, maybe we should take a look at how to make uh, the instrument better and more um, uh, powerful and you can do this with every instrument that uh, exists um, and it's not a given thing because for some pieces you would like to have one kind of uh, improvement and in another uh, you would improve it uh, in a different way because you want a different expression um, but um, I have chosen to work with uh, uh, Synet Sub FX, or as I like to call it, Syn, um, and I have taken that straight out of the collections that you have uh, inside LMS elements, uh, and it's not on the screen, but it doesn't matter because it's called 0033-strings1, and I also uh, change the name up here so it has the full name uh, as it is in the collection. Um, no, I haven't because I call it now I have. <laughs> right, 0033 strings 1, and it goes something like this. And that's perhaps not. impressive at all. Uh, we can put up a um, small um, uh, chord progression. It's a very small chord progression. It's actually just two chords. And we'll listen to that as we tinker with uh, the instrument. The first thing we're going to do is that we're going to open uh, the GUI, um, the graphical user interface for um, uh, CNET SuperFX, and we have it here. And the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to uh, set in some insertion effects. But I have made tutorials for that uh, earlier, so uh, I'll just um, do that on. Uh, really fast and you can follow the tutorial uh, I'll link to that um, so we're putting some chorus and we can ch change something here for instance to uh, already we have a somewhat better instrument has more power but we are not satisfied at all. Um, we just close the GUI. And we can hear. Let me stop this here. We can hear. Hear the chorus effect. It's better. Right. Uh, just added the reverb the same way. So we have uh, a little bit more Listen how the instrument now hangs with this nice reverb. Right. Uh, oh, hangs and it lingers. No, right. But now for the real uh, 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 important thing, and that is 
inside here we're going to add a equalizer and we're going to tinkle with that um, you can make you can uh, of course use any um, equalizer of your choice but um, I actually just like to take the 10 band equalizer that is part of uh, the let's buy collection but you can use any uh, equalizer that you want the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, save some of the frequencies that we're going to use for bass and kick drum and that is those here uh, that is below uh, 31 Hertz it th they really don't matter for the instrument so we can save that completely and uh, drag them all down perhaps when we listen to an instrument sometimes we can also s uh, save the frequencies around the 63 Hertz but listen now no I want to have these in uh, this instrument so I instead of I'm going to crank it down what can happen when you uh, uh, rubbish crank it up um, what can happen when you start to tinker with the, the uh, equalizer is that you start to get uh, serious overshooting and of course you should then stop adding uh, inside the frequency or you could simply just turn down the volume because many instruments can be improved seriously with less volume on the instrument and more frequency enhancement. I'm going to try to see if this is the case here. Right now we are in the safe area so there's no reason to. So we simply add more and more must. Not more than that. I have to have a year for it. you should definitely be able to to hear how this instrument get more and more musty get more and more strength it grows of expression do we want from the instrument? Should it be like that? Perhaps this is a little bit too much. But that's the tinker part and it's not always that instrument that you like in one piece that is going to work in another piece so uh, you can have various versions of the instrument with various settings in the EQ equalizer for different uh, compo uh, uh, compositions right bring in this Parts. Yeah. Now it's a completely different instrument. There's much more uh, feel to it. There's much more must in the sound. It's richer. And you can do that with any of the instruments in the package factory instruments and of course also in those that you make yourself uh, you're not done creating an instrument before you have equalized it 
Sometimes you also would like to take another frequency out. I, I took the low frequency out because those are important for uh, the, 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 the kick drum, the bass drum, and the bass. So we're going to save those. If we, it's, it's like any other wave that if you, uh, uh, if 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 you uh, the two. Uh, waves collide. You can get uh, a, 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 a larger wave, and eventually you will get uh, distortion. So if you can save frequencies that we did uh, with, with the 31 hertz, uh, that is definitely uh, an advantage. So that should always be done in, in everything that is not uh, uh, absolute bass and. Since this is quite close to to uh, to audible uh, lim uh, limit for audibles, uh, you, you you can pretty safe turn it down. I'm trying to crank it up, and you can see if, if if there's any difference in the expression of the instrument. Listen. Maybe a tiny, but you can get the same result if you just order this a few decimals. Okay. Let's try to uh, listen to the instruments that we had. Just sw switch them. This is a copy of uh, the factory um, instrument, and here we have our new instrument. So listen. It's pretty easy to hear that these uh, uh, changes to the instrument, adding uh, the, uh, the the chorus and adding some reverb, and then taking it into the um, equalizer and fiddling with the frequencies, change the instrument to be a much better and much more uh, powerful and richer instrument. And if you find that the instruments in the factory package uh, to your opinion meek and poor, you can enhance them uh, through equalizing and adding some effects. And of course, we also remember that now this was a Synet SuperFX instrument and they have amazing effects uh, in, in uh, uh, build in, uh, but we also remember that we can put uh, all kind of effects into the FX tab on the instrument. So this is also true for the instruments that comes in the other packages, not just uh, the SYN instruments, but um, um, it's amazing what you can do with uh, SYNET Super FX. It is an absolutely astonishing um, synthesizer fantastic uh, and if you haven't used it um, I would strongly advise you to take a look at it and I have a lot of tutorials around um, super FX I can list them in uh, the uh, in the comments um, uh, and that is really something uh, that you should look at because uh, Cine Super FX actually sup is superior to a lot of the um, other stuff you can find. Um, uh, there's not a lot you can't make with uh, with Cine. Right, um, it was just a 
quickie on how to uh, enhance instruments and I hope that um, we won't hear uh, anyone call the instruments in uh, elements uh, for a week <laughs> okay it's not meant like that but they're not weak uh, th well, they're, they're, they're very good so um, until next time uh, have a nice one and bye bye <laughs>